countdown clock is ticking away here in race nine as the starters line up in behind. The Metro Home Building Center starting gate back upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Miss Sangria, Skip Across, Fluentosity, Philly 47, Southern Heart, Traces of Purple. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. Rough and pacing Philly 47 leaving off stride of the rail is Miss Sangria into the turn at the inside is skip across then third is Fluentosity coming up fourth from the outside is traces of purple then it's Southern Heart fifth and the trailer is Miss Sangria so the quarter full bound and it's Philly 47 in line to Mark Campbell leading by two and a half in the early going now make it three second is skip across third at the rail is Fluentosity that's traces of purple now on the cones fourth racing from 50 southern heart trailing the field six miss sangria 28 and one was the opening quarter freewheeling on the lead is philly 47 and campbell by four second is kip across racing from third that's Fluentosity. Fourth on the rail is Traces of Purple. Racing from fifth, that is Southern Heart. And Miss Sangria is the trailer six. They're halfway home with Philly 47, the midway point leader in 57 and three. Onward they go to the 5 H next. It's Philly 47, the lead down to two. Second is Kip across, going to the outside third, Fluentosity. Traces of Purple up with the leaders fourth back into 50 Southern Heart and Miss Sangria the trailer three quarters up next Philly 47 the lead down to one to her outside is Fluentosity right there in a the pocket third skip across three quarters up in one 27 flat with an eighth of a mile left to go Philly 47 homeward bound second Fluentosity skip across coming up the right Deep stretch now. Three of them across the track. Here's Fluentosity on the outside. Oh, she run late. It'll be Philly 47 on the line in 156. Flat. There goes the judges inquired involves the conduct of the race at the finish. Well, no surprise here. We thought uh, the four Philly 47 and Campbell would be driven aggressively here and she was right on the front end, 28 and one down to the half and 57 and three, 127 and flat to the three quarters. I like these two mares on both sides of her here down the stretch. Uh, the two skip across down the inside for Hughes and Fluentosity on the outside here for Dowling. It looked like Fluentosity was going to get the edge on Philly 47 late in the stretch, but then made that unfortunate miscue right at the wire. So we'll see what happens here with the judges' inquiry, but hold on to all tickets here in race nine. Unofficially, the four Philly 47 gets the win, but uh, again, hold on to all tickets here in race number nine.
had a quite a stakes career here in the East Coast, went on to be quite a raceway mare. Tonight she joins the $300,000 win club. That's what kind of a career she's had. Here's Philly 47 in the ninth race winner's circle, pacing Brown Mare 9 by Proven Lover off the Mark Jonathan Dam. This marks a lady on the Alan McDonald, Corey Carver, and Caitlin Smallwood, bred by Wendell Williams of Ellerslie, trained by Brent Campbell. Mark Campbell's second winner for the double. The veteran mare gets her 52nd the lifetime victory. 156, Philly 47 in the Campbell double in the ninth. 